Today, I will be showing you how to burn Sega ROMs to a disc and play them on your unmodded PS2 using Swap Magic, Game Shark, or Action Replay. Now, before you start this process, you're going to need to download Image Burn, CD Gen PS2, and the PGen files. They are all in the description of this video. I have the links for them. After you downloaded all that shit, you're going to go to your desktop and make a new folder and you're going to rename it ROMs. And after you've done that, go on the internet, download some Sega ROMs, and put them in that folder. After you've done that, you're going to extract CD Gen PS2 if you haven't already, and you're going to open it up. Next thing you're going to do is find your PGen files that you downloaded and make sure you extracted those too. And you have to drag and drop these files into CD Gen PS2 in a certain order, or else it will not work. First file is System, second file is PGen hyphen B1. Third file is SJ data. And last file is pgen.dat. After you drag those files in there, go to your desktop, drag your ROMs folder into CD Gen PS2. Then click on image on the left side to create an image and save it to your desktop preferably and you can rename it anything you want. I'm just going to put say your ROMs I guess. After you've done that, you are going to open up Image Burn. Make sure your mode. No, first you, you write image file to disk. Then you go to mode, make sure it's in write mode. And then you're going to browse the image that you saved on your desktop. After you've done that, make sure your write speed is at 4x. Insert a blank CDR, any kind is fine. And just click write, and after it's done burning, you're finished.